呃，今天由我们三位来呃为大家介绍这一个呃我们主题啊。呃，不好意思，我们是大会要求用英语，所以 OK。呃，嗯 ，Good morning, everyone. Welcome to listen to our speech. 呃、uh, ，Unified Monitor and Second Level. 呃、uh, ，Another Schema of OpenStack and Kubernetes. 呃、uh, ，First, let me introduce my team member. I'm Mikey. I'm a edge computing architect, and then my parents. Uh, Roger and uh, Gardner. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, the IND engineers. Uh, we are from Nine Light Cloud Information Technology uh, company. Um, Nine Light Cloud, a uh, provider of software and solution companies. We are formed in uh, 2012, 2012. And uh, Nine Light Cloud focuses on open source cloud computing and edge computing. Um, our enterprise products include the edge cloud and uh, um, provide, uh, private cloud and uh, uh, CAPS platform, uh, CMP and uh, SD1. Okay, uh, for a long time, we make many important code contribution at the open source community. Uh, we are a core member of the OpenStack Foundation and uh, CNCF and uh, uh, Open Network Foundation. In the three latest uh, versions of OpenStack, we are the second contributor uh, in the Rocket version in the world. Um, at the same time, we are the first contributor in the uh, standard stand versions. Okay. Uh, let me back to the issue. Uh, we we divide we divide our topics into three parts. Um, first, first that is a uh, that is that is a question. Why OpenStack and Kubernetes are better together? Um, to answer this question better, we need to understand the difference between the OpenStack and Kubernetes. Um, that. Uh, explain the problem from four four aspects. Um, they are computer, network, storage, and um, business innovations. Innovation. Okay. Uh, the OpenStack watch machine uses the hypervisor visualization and has a complete color. Uh, as you know, uh, watch machine is the uh, is isolated, uh, so that watch machine is security. Um, but the containers use the operate, operating system uh, visualization, so uh, it provides uh, a lightweight application runtime. Uh, compared to OpenStack, Kubernetes has a, a, a weightage of Agile and uh, Postable. Okay, if virtualization technology is the nikon to DNA of uh, cloud computing, uh, OpenStack and Kubernetes has been moved to uh, two direction distant um, eyes and paths, you know. Okay, please pay uh, attention. Although the although the container has a namespace, but it only can limit the use of resource. It's not a real kernel uh, isolation. Uh, training the isolation depend on the capability of of the runtime model of uh, of container. Okay, in the past, uh, we were consider about adding a layer of virtualized uh, virtual machine return hardware and container to uh, solve this, this problem, but it's not a good way because uh, it's reduced performance of, of, of computer. So the OpenStack Foundation uh, has been promoting the uh, development of the Kata container, uh, Kata container, to reduce the visualization overhead um, and while ensuring container security. Okay, on the uh, on the hand of Lightwork. Uh, Kubernetes has many network models such, such as ANI, service ingress, and uh, network policy. Um, however, the 
traditional light work department department believe that um, the light work infrastructure platform should be have um, DHCP and supplied DNS the rating control security group uh, floating IP and uh, uh, and the VPC additionally um, building a module uh, module tail night isolation and uh, scalable SDN light work is very important to traditional uh, light work department so in the great team open stack and Kubernetes light work view, Newton and uh, Curate is a better choice because it can solve the problem of latest light, uh, overly light work and, uh, and achieve the light work connection between the uh, containers and the, and the watch machine. Okay, on the hand of the uh, uh, storage, uh, OpenStack can provide three types of storage services, such as broad, broad storage and object storage and the file storage. To OpenStack, it's important to use storage resource better rather than providing storage service for the cluster, cluster because the core of the core value of um, Kubernetes is always to drive business in, uh, innovations. <coughs> Okay, you know, um, containers is the standard tool uh, for Davis, uh, DevOps and Cloud Retools. And the microservice architecture is the system software design idea of the cloud. Um, containers change the delivery way of open stack, uh, of application, sorry. Okay, and the microservice architecture change the form of application. Um, Kubernetes provide capability of the um, orchestration and microservice to push to push business innovation. Um, in the end, I think that in the large scale cluster, using OpenStack and Kubernetes together is a better choice. I believe that in the future, all the applications will be run in the cloud. Um, but here I have a uh, question, how to build a, a uniform monitoring platform for OpenStack and Kubernetes? I believe Roger or Roger uh, can help me to answer these questions. Welcome, Roger. Thanks to Mikey's speech. We first look at how the from shoes on the OpenStack side, collect metrics and alert them. Our OpenStack environment is mainly divided into two types of nodes, control node and uh, edge node, and the control node and the compute node. The self-developed OpenStack exporter collects the metrics related to the OpenStack cluster at the control node and collect the virtual machine at the compute node. The content of OpenStack exporter will de be described in detail later. Back to our environment, each node in the OpenStack runs the promiscuous process in order to facilitate the classification of the collect centers. Cent the development is further divided into central and edge promiscuous. The central promiscuous is only deployed on the all control node to collect content related to the OpenStack environment, such as indicators of the AZ and the HA domains. Edge Prometheus is deployed on any node to collect physical node information and the metrics with node characteristics. For example, the compute node collects metrics related to the virtual machine. They periodically pull data from the central to the edge node in a federated manner. The OpenStack environment can collect the following indicators we collect basic KPI metrics from physical nodes and the virtual machine, and then aggregate them into the domains of host aggregate, availability, zoom, and the resource pool. On the other hand, it will monitor common faults in the environment, such as node failure, virtual machine failure, OpenStack service failure, and so on. On the alarm side, an alert manager cluster is deployed in the OpenStack environment. When an alarm occurs, 
each node sends an alarm request to the specified, specified alert manager cluster according to the alarm rule of its own attributes because it is direct alarm of each node. Let's look at the orange line. The extremely short response link can ensure that critical alarms can be sent out quickly within five seconds. Of course, the reason for dare to design this is that the alert manager itself has the function of duplication, filtering, noisy, reduction, and uh, grouping. Relying on these features avoid the risk of critical alarms being covered by a large number of the same type alarms or low purity alar alarms. Next, let's look at the overall architecture diagram. The monitoring in inter internal resource indicator on the Kubernetes side use a conventional Prometheus operator approach to create Prometheus and related resource through the operator and maintain their life circle. How to achieve unified monitoring? The federal method is still used with the central Prometheus on OpenStack side as collection point and the Prometheus on Kubernetes side periodically to its scrap metrics. Let's look at this dotted line. The spe specific method is to write the URL to the central Prometheus into the endpoint, match, match the service and the service monitor, and then find and write the configuration by the operator. A detailed introduction will flow. Because on the federate approach, Prometheus can scale up out to meet the needs cluster expansions and uh, can scale up, separate and monitor metrics. In terms of development, deployment, we in initially plan to reuse the consent concept of Prometheus operator and add an external resource type enable Prometheus operator to manage ex external Prometheus resources, deploy Prometheus in the OpenStack via the Docker API and maintain its life circle. It looks very fashion, but it is actually not necessary at all. In the environment of Kubernetes, the change in the life of the pod causes its IP to change, which affects the target configuration of Prometheus. Therefore, service monitor came into being. But don't worry about this in the OpenStack environment. Nodes and the services planned for IP at the beginning of development. Deployment and uh, is no longer changed. So the final deployment is in the form of Ansible due to the variety of nodes type and the Prometheus types. The component configuration file on different nodes will be different. But thanks to Ansible, the above differences can be automated during deployment. OpenStack Exporter is, OpenStack Exporter is used to collect resource indicators such as OpenStack cluster services and uh, virtual machines. Through a loosely coupled architecture, data from multiple layer, different types, and different periods are uniformly collected. It has following main feature. Loose coupling, easy insertion, and the removal of various indicators. Different data acquisition modes that allow achieve acquisition and the passive monitoring. The signals and the asynchronous acquisition modes for any indicator and, uh, and are optional. The asynchronous period of any in, in indicator can be configured. After the project is start, different data types are rejected into the signals or asynchronous controller according to the con configuration file during the initialization process. The types of resource rejected between the controller and the complementary and the signals controller is satisfied. The signals controller is used to control the acquisition process that requires high real-time performance. And the asynchronous controller is used to control the acquisition process with large data volume. The asynchronous acquisition process starts with the project. 
the initialization process register different types of data into the corresponding category of jobs. Each job has its own run circle. The backend is called for data collection during the circle. Each new circle will override the, da the data from the period circle. The synchronization process is relatively simple. That is, when the external request comes in, the signal's requisition process will be triggered. At this time, the controller will call the corresponding method of the backend for data collection. After the synchronization data is collected, it will be merged with the signal's data for the period cycle, and finally, the merged, merged data will be returned. Next, my colleague Gardner will give a demo. Uh, okay, let's see the demo. Uh, the pure real speaker tell you why we eat the Kubernetes, and, I, and I will show the demo. We should prepare an OpenStack environment uh, on this environment. We will deploy Prometheus, OpenStack Exporter, Node Exporter, and Alert Manager. Uh, and the Ansible deployment, and we will the Ansible deployment. We uh, we my tools uh, Ansible deployment have three special facility. First, automatic node planning, node classification. Second, con uh, configuration fields and uh, automatically allocated based on the uh, stability to be provided by different nodes when deploying. The third, auto-detect environment configuration. Okay, and the Kubernetes environment should aid uh, service endpoint and service monitor. The service definition for external resource is very similar to a normal service definition except we are not going to be use port selectors. We will create the service and uh, define the endpoint ourselves. Then let me show a video. Okay, now let's see the video, and I'm going to talk about the first part, unified monitoring. We need to collect the OpenStack data, data uh, uh, use Kubernetes environment promises. Firstly, let's look at which data to be collected in the OpenStack environment. Okay. Let's see the what virtual machine in there. Okay, well, we can see there are few virtual machines in the environment, and next we look at the aggregate. Okay, the third, we are uh, look at the uh, availability zone. Okay. And then let's take a look at the promise state in the in the OpenStack environment. Okay, we can find the OpenStack exporter matrix like hypervisor info. And uh, we CPU totals. Okay, the introduce of the OpenStack environment is over. Next, let's see the Kubernetes environment.
Okay, let us to see the series. Okay, and then we look at the endpoint. Okay, now we uh, we can this IP is the external this this IP is the external resource OpenStack Prometheus address. Okay, and we need to the emphasize is the address of the endpoint we can see is address of Prometheus in the OpenStack environment. Okay, let us see the Prometheus in Kubernetes environment avail available. Okay, then we can see this data is the Kubernetes matrix. And then we try to get the OpenStack exporter matrix in the environment like, like the hyperacer info. and the CPU totals. Okay, uh, this data are the same as the before we uh, just know we found it. Okay, let's, uh, let me show the, ver verify the OpenStack Prometheus URL is registered. Okay, we can see the, the interface, we can find the OS Prometheus. The OS Prometheus is mean the promise uh, is the external resource OpenStack, OpenStack Prometheus. Okay, we click this URL and we will find the OpenStack data. Like this is NOAA's data, it's come from it's get from the OpenStack exporter. Okay. And then we look at the service discovery. We can find this is uh, this OS Prometheus. It means the promise OpenStack Prometheus in there. Then let us to see the OpenStack data by Grafana from the Kubernetes environment. First, let me just see the virtual machine. Okay, let us to verify its virtual machine is guided by OpenStack environment. and take a UID in this, please. And this is uh, my OpenStack environment. Okay. We can get this virtual machine from the OpenStack environment. The next look at look at the uh, host aggregate by Grafana. Okay, and this place has the CPU and the memory and VM totals. The data is the last five minutes. Okay, then we look at the availability zone. Okay, we see the no is Okay, let's see the virtual machines overview. We have the file active virtual machine 
in this in OpenStack environment. And, state, and this data is get by uh, Kubernetes promises. Okay, in this interface, we can see the CPU load top three in there. Okay, uh, now let me show you the second part. Uh, if I pre pressure data on the CPU of the host where the node exporter in the OpenStack environment, can Prometheus its Kubernetes environment react in time? Okay, we find a command to pre-share the, CP, the CPU. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, we find, find this. Okay, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can see this, this place had been changed read and he, and the, and the CPU unitalization read is sorted. And we can see the node load node load one. We can see the the node load improve a lot from just now. From this time and uh, no. Okay, and then uh, we uh, finally let's see the if the alert manager in the OpenStack e exporter uh, environment has an alert. We look at the alert manager. Okay, we can. Okay, we can see the alert manager. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we can, okay. Okay, okay, we can see the alert manager which is in the OpenStack environment has alert and this machine is uh, it's a host appreciated. We got the data uh, very quickly and uh, make change in the interface. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's all, thank you. Thank you all, thank you DJ. Uh, okay, uh, actually this problem is quite 用,用中文都很难说明白，但但会但会要求我们用英文就，所以非常的 ，sorry <笑>。然后呃，我们可是我们线下可以一起去讨论这个问题，因为呃，因为相信这个场景我们一直认为是会有很多的一个应用场景的。好，谢谢大家，我们已经结束了。好，谢谢大家 ，thank you，thank you all。